Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Secret Base figure preview video. Now before we begin, a massive thank you goes out to Ryan Kirkwood for snapping these gorgeous pics. Show Ryan some love down in the comments below because without him this series literally wouldn't be possible. Now if you are looking to pre-order Yelena, she is available from ToysWonderland.com. Link is down below, they do have 12 month installment plans and an awesome reward system. Now to be totally honest with you, I never thought Hot Toys were going to make Yelena from Black Widow. I thought they were going to use their usual strategy when a new character is introduced. Wait it out, see if she makes an impact in a future film, and then maybe consider giving us a figure. Like characters such as Valkyrie or even Mantis, who we still don't have figures for. But I am super glad that they threw all caution to the wind and said no no no. We're going to make Yelena because we understand she is a fan favourite. And that she is. I absolutely loved Florence Pugh's performance in Black Widow. I think she was one of the standout performances in the movie, to be totally honest. So I am very glad that we are getting her. Now, fingers crossed we do get the rest of the family. But for now, having the two sisters to pose together in their snowsuits... Yeah, that's pretty darn exciting. Now she does come with a full array of hands, as you would expect, some throwing knives, and also the headset from the helicopter scene that made Red Guardian very uncomfortable. But I'm glad that they are throwing in more scene-specific accessories like this. I mean, no one's going to have her wearing them in the display, I don't think. But you do get them, you can have her holding them, or you can probably have them sitting around her neck. I wouldn't imagine they would be super easy to finagle on the head sculpt, but they are at least very nicely sculpted and quite nicely painted. You also get a pistol, which is a similar style to the one that we got with Black Widow herself. Speaking of Black Widow, you have some very iconic Black Widow weaponry here, being the batons. You get two different versions, the collapsed, more straight versions, and then you get the fully bendable, articulated ones. So depending on the pose you're going for, because, you know, Yelena, she's such a poser, right? You can actually articulate and bend those batons. I also love the colour scheme here. It's something that I didn't notice in the film, but these are quite unique to Yelena. I like the punchy, vibrant metallic silver and also the little yellow rivets. It's a pop of colour that I never noticed before now, but it kind of gives it this industrial look and feel, and I for one am all for it. Now, Hot Toys have pulled out all the stops with Yelena. Let's talk about the display base first, though. It's the usual Black Widow style, the hexagonal display base with her name printed on the front. But as for the figure herself, number one, split cut boot design. You all know that's right at the top of the Justin's Collection's favorite things wish list, so they've already ticked that one off. The boots do look incredible. They're really nicely painted, they're very weathered, and they do look decently seamless. You do still have that cut there that you can see up close and personal, but from a distance they do look like one solid boot. Now the second thing was a huge surprise to me, and I'm pretty sure to a lot of people as well. They've done pretty much an entirely fabric outfit. Oh my goodness, I am so very happy about this. I wish they'd done it for Black Widow as well because, you know, she's the real poser out of the two. But to get it with Yelena means you can go crazy with the articulation and not have to worry about creasing or damage or rips or tears. This is a poser's dream. The material looks very similar to either Kylo Ren's pants, Snowspeeder Luke, or the material that they use for Batman Beyond. So if you have any of those figures, you kind of already know what the look and feel of this material will be like in person. Yes, they could change it and go for that rubbery style textured material when the final product comes out, but please Hot Toys, 
don't do that. Keep it like this. You've done an amazing job here. And I'm all for praising Hot Toys when they do great stuff like this, so kudos to them for sure. Now, she does have some overlay pieces. She does have some knee pads, she has some elbow pads, which you'll see in just a second. She also has some holsters on either side. Now, these are made of a sturdy, rubbery plastic, so there's once again no pleather here whatsoever, so this figure should absolutely stand the test of time. I also love that Black Widow logo integrated into her belt. It's not overly obnoxious, but it still very clearly is there if you go looking for it. It's not punchy, vibrant red, it's just really nice and subdued. She also is wearing her iconic vest. So many pockets, I love the vest. Interestingly enough, in the promo pics, they actually have a few pictures of it closed up. Now, the zipper on this vest is fake. It's a faux zipper. It doesn't actually work. So I wouldn't be surprised if they've integrated some magnets in the front overlay pieces. So when you put one side over the other, it snaps together and closes in place. Because, number one, as I said, the zipper is fake. There isn't any Velcro that I can see. So that kind of is the only way that you can get it to close when you're operating under those constraints. So we'll have to wait and see when it comes out, but I am strongly suspecting they've gone with a magnet. Now the design is identical to the one that came with Black Widow from Infinity War. Obviously, because this is the vest that her sister gives her, and then she wears it into that movie. In fact, we see her kind of in the Infinity War outfit towards the end of Black Widow. I love the vest. It's a nice, different pop of colour on the entirely white outfit, but if you wanted to, and you wanted Yelena to match Black Widow just a little bit more, you could totally remove it, then have them both in their snowsuits. I know some people are very, very tempted to do that. I've seen the comments, and yeah, that would make for a pretty cool display, but having the vest on, I mean, it was such a hilarious moment in the movie that I think a ton of people are also going to leave it on. I know that I definitely will. Now, here are the elbow pads I was talking about. They shouldn't be all that restrictive because they do have two rubber straps that go around the front of the arm, and unfortunately, on the prototype here, the paint is starting to peel. Don't worry, it shouldn't raise any red flags just yet. When we get the final version in hand, I highly doubt that's an issue. Now, it also appears as though she comes with a combined version of the Black Widow baton to make it a big honkin' staff. I love this as well. The more accessories, the merrier. And there you see a much closer up shot of the peeling of the paint on those rubbery pieces. Please, as I said, nobody worry. It's not going to be there on the final product. It's something that normally I wouldn't point out, but it is so glaringly obvious here that I thought I had to just in case people went down to the comments to tell me, hey, Justin, it's peeling. It's going to be a horrible product. No, don't freak out. It's totally a non-issue. Now, weirdly enough, the pose that they have her in at Secret Base actually has her holding the combined version of the baton and also the articulated one. I didn't know that the Widows carried around so many of these darn things, but I guess Yelena, in their mind, has three at her disposal. I know that I personally will only be displaying her with two at a time or the combined version, but it's entirely up to you. Go crazy with your posing. Here we have it though, the pièce de résistance. I am so happy with this head sculpt. It is glorious. Hot Toys have been getting so darn good with their sculpts. The likeness to me is uncanny. The skin texture, the paint applications, the hair, the expression, the intensity of the stare. She also does have a bunch of earrings sculpted in. This might just be, and I feel like I'm saying this at almost every figure preview video recently, but it might just be my favourite Hot Toys female head sculpt to 
state. That is how strong I think this sculpt is. Pretty much from every angle, it is bang on. Do let me know what you think of it down below, but I'm pretty sure y'all will agree this is incredible work by JC Hong and the team at Hot Toys. Y'all have outdone yourselves, so give yourselves a pat on the back, a round of applause if you will, because stuff like this is why we are fans of your product. You're getting better and better, and I know that I personally am all for it. Now I did allude to this earlier in the video, but I am hoping that we do get Red Guardian. They've shown the prototype a bunch of times now, and I think Alexi is a character that a ton of people will buy. I want to have on my display Black Widow in her snowsuit on one side, Yelena on the other, in the background Red Guardian fighting Taskmaster, and then right front and center, Black Widow in that black and gray suit. So that's kind of the movie poster style display that I personally am imagining for my display, but that only kind of works if they make Red Guardian. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about their mum, Melina, as well. I would love to have the entire family, so fingers crossed Hot Toys makes that happen. But if you do want to pre-order Yelena, she is available from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is down in the description below. They have 12-month installment plans and an awesome reward system. Also check out the link to Six Scale Network, the Facebook group. Link for that is also down below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.